Hello everyone! Uh, this game was played in simultaneous exhibition on uh, 28th of December in Zagreb in Croatia. Uh, this was a two-day event organized by the Kasparov Adriatic Chess Foundation. Uh, the day before the simultaneous exhibition there was a youth uh, chess tournament and 120 participants uh, from three countries uh, played a tournament and the winner of the under 9 year old section and the winner of the under 11 year old section uh, will uh, have won a prize to play in the simultaneous exhibition against uh, Gary Kasparov. Uh, and in the, in the exhibition Kasparov uh, faced some Croatian celebrities, uh, some uh, top government people, uh, and one of the participants was Mario Kovac. Mario Kovac is a, is a successful Croatian uh, theater and film director. Also, he enjoys uh, attending trivia challenges, not only as a player, but also as a host. Uh, I think I attended at least one uh, trivia challenge uh, that he was hosting, it was uh, very enjoyable. Uh, he's a casual chess player his entire life, and not only that, he's also a DJ. Uh, on New Year's Eve I attended a party where he was a DJ uh, here in my hometown, uh, and uh, it was quite a blast. So naturally I was uh, very interested in this game when I heard he was playing against Gary Kasparov. Uh, I asked him if he could uh, send me the game, maybe he recorded it, but uh, he said uh, I will publicly show it on Facebook as he was uh, he was very proud of playing uh, Gary Kasparov. He's uh, you know a great guy and uh, a, a, a great world champion. So this is the game, uh, the beast with a thousand eyes against uh, the man, w the man of many talents. And uh, this game is basically a story of uh, how to play and how not to play against the London system. Uh, so let's see uh, this game. Kasparov has the white pieces and he opens up with d4. We have d5 by Mario, bishop to f4, knight to f6, and e3. Uh, kind of the basic setup of the London system. e6 by Mario, bishop to d3. Knight to c6, we have knight to f3, bishop to d6 now, challenging Kasparov's bishop on f4. Uh, and here uh, I've seen players play something like bishop to g3, but uh, Kasparov actually ignores this. He plays knight b to d2. And Mario can double uh, Kasparov's pawns here by capturing an f4, but he doesn't. He castles. Uh, Black doesn't really gain that much by doing this. If he captures and E captures on f4, okay, you double the white spawns, but now white has uh, insane control of the e5 square. And uh, let's say the game continues. For example, you castle, c3 will definitely come by white, and after black continues either by, let's say, bishop to d7, now comes knight e5, and this knight is stuck there in the center. Uh, you can never capture there, as there is so much control. If you capture, then this pawn chain is, is amazing. Uh, knight has to go back, uh, and th there's simply too much here for white. So after this knight b to d2, Mario, I think Mario, uh, he, I mean, he could capture, but I think it's best not to capture. Uh, he castles and c3 by Kasparov. We have rook to e8 and knight to e5 now. And bishop to e7. This bishop to e7 uh, seems like a loss of a tempo. Maybe, maybe, maybe there are some better moves, probably something like h6. Uh, and then the game continues, queen f3 and so on. But after knight e5, Mario plays bishop back to e7 with the idea, uh, he, he wants to get rid of the knight on e5, but he doesn't want to give up the bishop pair. So he wants to capture with the c knight and, uh, well, this isn't possible if the bishop is on d6, uh, because after d captures on e5, then both uh, bishop on d6 and knight on f6 will be attacked. So this is him preparing to capture the knight with the c6 knight. Uh, Kasparov continues, queen to f3, we have knight captures, d captures on e5, and knight to d7. And here h6 is played, uh, gaining more control uh, of the g5 square, so no bishop to g5 ideas uh, of alleviating the pressure can be played. Uh, also, he's preparing ex expansion on the king side and, uh, of course, attacking the black king. Uh, capturing the pawn, of course, is impossible. If you capture, then simply bishop captures on h7, this is winning for white. Uh, you have to run away with the king. Uh, if you capture, then comes queen, queen h5 check, king has to go back, rook captures, already you're threatening checkmate, this is completely winning for white. Uh, so after h4, Mario plays c6, uh, and Kasparov goes for uh, queen to h5. Uh, h6 was played, and uh, probably, well not probably, g6 was definitely a better idea here. Uh, kicking the queen away, uh, and uh, th this would hold the position, not allowing this bishop to exert this uh, immense pressure on the h7 square. Uh, but here Mario played h6, 
And uh, here a lot of moves are possible for white. Knight to f3, rook h3 followed by rook g3 uh, pressuring the g7. But Kasparov goes for the straightforward bishop captures on h6. Uh, and Mario plays knight captures on e5. If you capture g captures on h6, uh, then after queen captures on h6, <clears throat> there is a threat of bishop to h7. And this will be checkmate. Bishop h7 check, king h8, then bishop g6 check, blah, blah, this. You all know this checkmate. Uh, so this would have to be stopped, something like f5, but now rook to h3, following uh, rook g3 to follow. Uh, we have knight captures on e5, there's really uh, there's really no better move for black here, and after rook to g3, it's all over. Uh, you either have to move the king, then queen g7 is checkmate, or you have to block with the bishop and give up the bishop and the queen for the rook. Uh, even if you block with knight g4, simply rook captures, and after f captures, bishop to g6, and there is no defense here, uh, whatever black plays simply checkmate is coming so after this bishop captures on h6 mario doesn't capture the bishop he plays knight captures on e5 and queen captures on e5 and here the best move for black is to actually capture just capture the bishop uh, after g captures uh, on h6 uh, and something like queen to h5 bishop to f8 protecting the h6 pawn and uh, white is still better here but uh, may maybe black could hold this well it would definitely be a lot better than uh, than the move that was played in the game. After queen captures on e5, uh, Mario decided to go bishop to f6, kind of maybe with a tempo uh, on the queen and only capture the bishop uh, after that. Uh, but after queen to g3, now the pawn is spinned. Uh, you cannot capture the bishop, and now it's uh, a simply a winning position for white. Uh, king to f8, unpinning. Now bishop to g5. Uh, bishop captures, h captures. Uh, we have g6. Uh, queen to e5, king to e7. Rook to h7, uh, rook to f8 now, defending the f7 square. <clears throat> and uh, here Kasparov can capture immediately on g6, bishop captures on g6 as the f-pawn is pinned. Uh, but uh, this is something Kasparov says, it's uh, when, when you're playing in a simultaneous game and uh, in a simultaneous exhibition and you have a winning position, it's, uh, you know, ne never <laughs> forget about your own king's safety. So even there's, even... There's really no danger here for white. Queen to a5 doesn't really pose any threats. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, best to castle as y you have a lot of games uh, going on. So uh, he castles first. Uh, and bishop to d7. We have knight to f3. Uh, rook to c8. And only now that he uh, has all of his pieces on nice squares. And now he plays bishop captures on g6. Uh, rook to g8. Uh, and rook captures on f7. This is with check. Uh, the king has only one square, that's king to e8. And uh, here, uh, Kasparov actually has a checkmate in two. Queen to d6, you can't defend the rook to f8 checkmate. It will be both check from the rook and from the bishop on g6. Uh, but uh, he goes for a different kind of checkmate. He plays uh, rook to g7. This is checkmate in three. Uh, king to f8 was played and now queen to f4. And here Mario played queen to f6 and uh, queen captures on f6. This is checkmate. Uh, it doesn't matter if you capture the rook, simply queen goes uh, to f7, king h8, and queen to h7 is checkmate. So, definitely an, an interesting and instructive game on uh, uh, how, to, how to face the London system and uh, what, what moves to avoid, as they are clearly mistakes. Uh, but it's interesting, I think it was in this position, after bishop captures, uh, rook captures, and rook to g7, here, uh, queen to f4, I think it was in this position, Mario was actually giving an interview, uh, and he said that while he was waiting for Kasparov to make his move, or maybe it was in this position, not really sure. Yeah, it was in this, and then Kasparov moved queen f4. Uh, Mario said that, uh, yes, he clearly is lost, and uh, uh, that uh, everyone can see this. Even the news reporter said that there will be checkmate in, in two, two to three moves, uh, but he said that Kasparov probably already saw this uh, <laughs> long ago. So yeah, uh, that's the game, that's uh, the one game I got from this simultaneous exhibition. If any of you have any other games from this simultaneous exhibition, uh, feel free to send them, I will gladly show them uh, here on my channel. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Niku Nayar, Colin Whalen, uh, Zachary Hankins and Mark Hayward for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you soon.